everyone suffers from overconfidence, except for me, not something I suffer from. But if you look at some of these stats, they're amazing, right? Where 93% of drivers in the United States say that they're average or above average. Almost everybody thinks they're average or above average intelligence, right? Obviously me included there too. Um, and this illusion of control, we often overestimate how much something we can control of right? That like you can move mountains because you're in charge of it. You did some planning, so you're in charge of it. And a lot more of the world is actually outside of our control than we might be willing to believe. Now, another part of this I found really fascinating. I was with PIMCO this last week and they did a survey of investors. Now, these were investors with a little bit more money, so maybe they are slightly better than average investors, maybe not. But 89% of them actually said they were above average investors. And interestingly enough, over a quarter of them had no plans, nothing in place. And so it really begs the question, like, is that really true? Now, this isn't just a video to tell you that people are overconfident, right? And like, great. Actually, overconfidence has also been shown to improve some people's self-esteem. So it's not entirely bad that there are some true benefits of overconfidence. Now, we do need to be able to challenge overconfidence. And I found some really interesting ways. The first one is being open-minded, right? Challenge things that you hold to be true that might not be true. Reflect on past outcomes so you can learn from our mistakes or wins. I always tell people I'd rather learn from my wins and learn from somebody else's mistakes, right? Think of the consequences. So this is drawing out the options of something. And if we can narrow down probabilities and narrow down options, we can actually make better, more informed decisions and not suffer from as much overconfidence. And then the last one I put on here is feedback, right? Feedback or a third party. Who can help you out, right? This might be pushing things off to somebody else to get that advisor related to you, but how can you help challenge overconfidence with additional third-party help? So again, everybody out there is overconfident, except for you and except for me. Stay safe, stay healthy. Good to see everybody.